Okay. Where's my video? <laughs> Can you guys see me? I missed to be blown up the balloons. Oh, yes, of course, we had trouble on the last one. Um, can you see me or hear me? You can. Okay. Oh. My video is not showing. Not that I have to see myself, but it helps to know if I'm like even on the screen. <laughs> so, um, Alicia, Donna, oh, Kiri, hello, Michigan Daffodil, hi. Um, no sad stuff tonight. So, okay, you could see me, not yet. Well, oh, ad popped in. Okay. Hi, Donna. Uh, yeah, I don't have anything on my screen. Let me see if I change this up. Nope. <laughs> of course. Of course, it's going to be doing that. So, hello, everybody. So, uh, I've been like shoveling all day long. That's like all I've been doing. And so I had to grab a quick shower. So I'm sorry. I'm, I was a couple minutes late. I was just trying to get myself presentable here. <clears throat> if I have to refresh, it's okay. Um, okay. If I lose you guys, I will set up a new one. Okay. Um, but I, I don't know. I mean, if you can see me. Oh, you can see me now? Okay. Oh, wow, Michigan Daffodil. I thought for sure you guys, I mean, just the way the um, the radar looked, it looks like, it, well, at least the UP was getting hit big time, but I thought you guys were really getting it. Um, is it. Is it just starting to, it's been going off and on a little bit today. <sighs> uh, yeah, it, it's a heavy, heavy wet stuff out there. And it's, um, probably probably in the the 12 to 14 inches range um just from yesterday and today and then i had seven inches of snow on thursday night so thursday night and friday to friday morning and so yeah <laughs> now some of that melted before sunday started so I was like, you know, happy Palm Sunday. <laughs> You're snowed in. <laughs> oh, you can see me okay? Okay. Hi, Patty. Hello. Mac, hello. Oh, getting everybody in here. Very windy. Don't dare blow that white stuff. <laughs> the wind is bad enough. Yes, it is. Um, it's going to get, we're supposed to have 40 mile an hour winds coming through tomorrow. So it's already kind of started a little bit today. So, but I've been out shoveling three times today, <laughs> clearing off the roof, snow blowing. It's just, it's like I said, it's a heavy, heavy wet stuff. So, and then the plow come by <laughs> and then I've got to go again, but it's, so that's been my day. I, um, I had other things to do, but oh, well, that's the way it goes. Right. Um, a lot of years melted, but getting rain and that's right. So you're further south than I am, Donna. So um, you guys were in the the rain and ice path there. Um, where I'm out in West Central, we just got all snow. So um, you have 25 to 30 mile an hour winds. Oh yeah, yeah. The front, the big system that was right over us, dumping all the snow and ice and everything. Um, the tail went all the way down to Texas, I believe. And so that was a fairly narrow one. So as it was going through, it probably kicked off a lot of storms, but definitely winds and everything. Um, oh, Kiri, hold on to your hat. Oh, my goodness. Enough to make those rocks blow away. <laughs> Good thing you have rock raised beds, right? And rock fences. 
Oh my goodness. Yeah. So Kiri, how are your uh, raised beds going along? I'd love to know. Um, I, I'm so happy for you that you're able to use those rocks. I know it's a ton of work. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Stuff is blown around. So, um, Mac and Patty, you hold on to your beard too, because you don't blow away. <laughs> Patty, you don't have a beard. I know that. <laughs> oh, I'm tired from all the it's that's hard work, you know, and, and roof raking and and for you in the south who don't know what a roof rake is, you'll have to Google that. But it's basically like um it's like a plastic scoop shovel <clears throat> kind of thing it's it's uh rectangular but and then rounded kind of a concave convex type of thing or whatever and so anyway then you have um metal uh attachments there and then it hooks to a pole actually the pole is in three sections a three five foot sections so uh, the whole thing is 15 feet long and you're able to take that and put it up on the roof and pull the snow off of it so and that keeps it from especially when it's heavy wet stuff like this it keeps it from getting too much weight on the roof um also we're going to be getting down to um hey amy <laughs> brad how are you oh my goodness <laughs> max stops telling secrets <laughs> patty did you hit him <laughs> Oh, you're in it. Oh, yeah. Everybody's getting wins right now. But thank you guys for coming in. I really appreciate that. Um, but yeah, so, so the roof raking so that it doesn't freeze solid too, because our temperatures are going to be dipping down into the single digits um, tomorrow night, I think. And so everything's going to, all the heavy wet snow will just be like cement. And so if I have like chunky stuff all over the place, <laughs> It's getting a little risky. <laughs> um, you finished the tiny rock areas you wanted to get done so you could plant. Oh, nice. Nice. She's planting rocks. <laughs> She's growing rocks. Well, I think I think her land grows rocks for her. But um, <laughs> yeah, tornado. Oh, tornado watch. Ooh, okay. You guys be careful. And I'm so proud of you guys for doing all the things that you're doing stretching um your uh your abilities and your repertoire and everything to be selling stuff now and i think that's so great and um that's so uh that's fun that's fun to be able to see um another channel and another so friends being able to do that that's great um <laughs> <laughs> who made it yes yes so so that's kind of the the excitement in there today so um you know, guys know that i've been working on um on redoing some rooms you know like purging and painting and fixing up and stuff like that and so um i had to put the bedrooms on hold for right now because i realized that um I mean, I started doing the bathroom like in October. And you, I got a new floor and everything, but I still needed painting and all kinds of other stuff. And I realized that if I'm hosting Easter, I better get that done first. <laughs> and so I started it Wednesday and I'm getting close to being done. But so when I bought the house, um, one of the previous owners had in, in the bathroom was a mess. Oh, everything was... <laughs> bad shape here i've done a lot of work to this house um oh you're welcome amy um the the bathroom somebody had used contact paper to go up like over four and a half feet but yeah about that um so it was like so i had to cover that up so anyway up to 55 inches which is you know um 60 inches is five feet so it's like yeah it's about four and a half, five and a half feet no four and a half feet four and a half feet um <laughs> they, so they put contact paper on there 
and then paint it and stuff like that. And this contact paper, I tried peeling it off, but it was going to be, it was stuck there for so many years that it would be ripping up um, the sheetrock. It would just be pulling, pulling off all the, the uh, surface stuff on the sheetrock. And it was like, oh, I can't even remove it just to paint the walls. So <clears throat> my solution at that time was to um, put tongue and groove pine boards um, around there, like a, a really tall wainscoting type of thing. So tongue and groove um, pine boards on the walls to cover that up. And then I did um, chair rails kind of um, above that. And then, then above that, I had some um, kind of floral wallpaper trim type of stuff. You guys, this is like 20, how many years? 28 years ago, 25 years ago. So it was in. So anyways, there's a floral trim around there in, in another strip of wood. So anyway, in redoing the bathroom and trying to get things updated, that was no longer a thing. And so for a couple of years now, I've been trying to figure out what to do and how to do things and colors and all that kind of stuff with the new floor, especially this year. And so anyway, I've got some... Um, it's some peel and stick adhesive flooring tiles, the, the 12 inch ones. And so I cut those and put it over the, um, the thing, but then I had to, I thought I could just paint everything, all the boards as I was looking at them over the years, they've, they, they shrink in and expand and, you know, the, according to the seasons and stuff, if there's more humidity and, so anyway, there's plenty of gaps between some of those boards. So it's like, I need to fix that. So um, some of it took spackle. A lot of it was was just caulking between them. So it'd be a little more flexible um, if they shrunk or, or grew a little bit more. And so fixing all of those and then putting three coats of, I just did white, but it took three coats for everything to cover, right? and um getting that all done and it was worth it 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 looks really good now but it's been a lot of work <laughs> it's been a lot of work so now i am putting up brand new towel bars things like that and um trying to trying to get that all finished so i think i'm trying to think if once i have the towel bars i won't be completely done but it'll be done enough for company so that'll be it. So <clears throat> um, Amy, you said your phone signal is better than Wi-Fi. I just can't type too quickly. Oh. <laughs> Thank you, Alicia. You're very sweet. Y'all getting bad weather. Uh, will the hot blow dryers help get the contact paper up? Oh, well, that's that was way back then. I don't know. Um, the boards have been up for 25 years, so... <laughs> I'm not ripping those off to figure that out. So someone else can do all that if they want to. Um, but I'm not going to do that. It could be. Hi, Joy. Could be able to I know the things that people do. And it's like, oh, um, they did that in the kitchen, too. And um, I don't remember how I how I got it that off but I must have scraped or something but it was like oh my goodness it was crazy <laughs> uh leave the boards up yes yes um so anyway yeah so that's been between boards and or yeah the bathroom um uh, finally trying to get things fixed in there and and um the old towel bars I had in there were just like the really, really super cheap, just um, just the thin metal things with the <laughs> they just screw in. And and, uh, you know, it's, of course, what I could afford at that time. And and they were probably a buck and a half a piece or something like that. And and it's like, OK, it's time to upgrade. So so doing that and figuring out the whole thing and it give you this little, little itty bitty Allen wrench to, that you have to get into there and then tighten this stuff. And it's like, Oh my goodness. Couldn't you just like make it a, you know, a flat flathead screw down there. So I could at least just screw it in there. But anyway, these aren't designed by women, I guess. 
Uh, so, um, at Homestead, Wednesday evening live, they'll have new market booth stories. Oh, okay. I'm trying to think. I don't think I have a, a meeting this Wednesday. I'm trying to think. So, um, yeah, it's about, it's hanging around freezing right now. Um, the snow seems to be, no, nope, it's starting up again. So we're just kind of going in waves, you know, kind of doing that. It takes time typing. It does. It does. Um, I'm sad. Market story. Oh, you're meeting a ton of great people at the market. Okay. I thought maybe there was a um, <clears throat> a meetup or something like that. So, yeah, I'm, I'm just really working and trying to, <laughs> like, it really sounds like I'm really trying to free up my time, doesn't it? It's like redoing rooms and no, but I, I keep having this, this vision at the end of it. It's like, once it's done, then it's like, <sighs> then I don't have to worry about any of that. I, it'll just be simple cleaning after that. I could just free up a lot of time. And, and you guys know with the house, there's always upkeep. There's always things that have to be done, but um, I, I'm really working and trying to, um, sorry, I get distracted here, trying to get everything done before I have to be outside for spring, which, all this snowfall, it's going to be here for at least a week before things start melting, I think. Um, because we don't have like warm temps coming up. Everything's going to be about freezing or below. So um, it's it's a new busy with great reward. That is so true. That is so true. Um, Old houses are works in progress. They are. I was just thinking, so it was right around 100, or 100, 1908 that this house was built. So that makes it about 115 years old and um, 116 years old, somewhere in there. And uh, so, yeah, lots of things have to be done to it. But, um, you know, when I moved in, I did a lot of fixing up and thought that, ooh, <laughs> That'll be it forever, right? I don't have to do anymore. I was like, no, I'm still here 28 years later. It's like, now I got to fix up again. <laughs> so, but anyway, it's okay. It's all right. It's it's making it um, enjoyable for me to live in with things upgraded and stuff like that. And, um, you know, the rooms have turned into, you know, a guest room instead of a little girl's room type of thing. And so it's, it's just making some space a little bit nicer. And, and uh, <laughs> yes, I still do have the tree up. <laughs> I may, because I haven't been able to get to the one room that is going to be stored in. So I may have to end up hanging eggs on it. <laughs> My family will be okay with that. They'll probably laugh. So, um, I should get a few plastic eggs and just hang them up there. Uh, so true, Alicia. So true. So, hey, Caitlin. Um, you're smart to get the jobs done while you're young and healthy. Oh, <laughs> while you remember what all the tools are for. <laughs> Thank you. I'm not that young. I don't know about healthy, but it's like I'm trying. Um, but thank you, Joy. Appreciate that. <laughs> Um, my sister is three years younger than I am and she's um, <clears throat> looking to buy a house and um, I said I told her that you know I've been um, I'm at the stage where I'm, I'm having to buy tools that help me get the job done better you know 20 years ago it was like, okay, just give me a screwdriver and hammer and I'll grunt my way through everything, right? And it's like, I'll get it all done. But um, now it's like, I need I need a nice <laughs> cordless drill and a cordless uh, a screwdriver. You know, and just like, I need those things to just help me power through. So um, she's like, 
oh, I better come and check to see what I need. <laughs> so she's going to come over sometime and, and I'll just show her everything. But, you know, it, it helps to have a leaf blower where before it was just like, oh, I'll just sweep or brush you know, or, you know, rake or something. It's like, it does help. <laughs> So it's not being lazy. It's just trying to be smart and preserve my energy, right? Preserve my body. So I'm trying to do that. Last night, the moonlight made it look like the ground was covered in snow. Oh, yeah. Shorts in the snow time. Amy, I like that. Thank you so much. I'm improving a part of history. Thank you. Uh, that's, that's a very sweet way to put it. I like that. Um, Caitlin, I do have to be careful on my channel here. So even though it's the last live, I do have to be careful with that. So um, I will pray for you, though. You're such a perfectionist. So you do your own work, your eyes drawn to the imperfections for years to come. <laughs> I think that's where, you know, it, yes, in doing those, redoing the boards and stuff, it's like around the sink, I had to add more caulking. And it's like, I couldn't get the caulking gun down close enough to it. So I'm putting it on my finger and trying to smear it in. It's like, it's not a great job, but I just, I have to kind of overlook that and go, okay, it's okay. <laughs> Maybe someday they'll make caulking guns longer so I can get down in there <laughs> behind the faucet, you know? And it's like, um, yeah, I hear you. I hear you. And it's like, okay, there's a gap over here. This like, I don't know if this is lined up perfectly or, you know, anybody just walking in, using the bathroom, walking back out, they're not going to notice things. Not at all. So cordless is my best friend. So true. Um, Christy, hello. I can't keep track of, oh, well, you're still here. Okay. I will do that. I will pray for her then. Thanks, Alicia. Um, <laughs> yes, glad you could make it. So, <clears throat> um, I gotta make sure my phone is off here so it doesn't gazinga us. So anyway, um, before I get on to the next thing, we'll do a little, remember, we're going to just do all kinds of things here. So let me see, <clears throat> excuse me, see what I have. Oh, have you ever? Mac and Patty still here? Oh, there, he, there is Mac. Okay. Um, you had to use your fingers to get mortar in some places between the rocks. I can't tell you how many. I think I went through a full roll of paper towels just doing the caulking. Oh, I'm just getting it wet and trying to do this, and then I get it all over my hands, and then, um, yeah. So, and I don't. You know, they always say that the paint is a one coat thing, but a white sure didn't cover. I was going over antique white, which you think it wouldn't be a problem, but it was like all still showing through. So I still I needed to do three coats of paint around the bathroom, which would take some time too. So, <clears throat> okay. <laughs> um, where are we here? Um... Michigan Daffodil, go in the scrooges. Be careful not to keep charging for extra hours. Yes, I am very, very careful of charging my batteries. I have a little bench thing where all my batteries are um, in the chargers, the different ones that I need. And um, I will charge, um, charge one right there where I can see the light and everything. Um, and as soon as it's ready to go, I unplug it put in there. So, um, so the batteries are probably not fully charged when I go to use them, but that's okay. Cause I've seen the results of what happens when people leave them charging and it's not good. It's like explosion. Yeah. We don't want to be doing that. Um, it's storming there, but praise the Lord. Doug's Benadryl has kicked in. I think, Oh, the dog's Benadryl is not quite sure what you're talking about, but I'm glad you're doing better. It's <laughs> not good for the skin. Um, yeah, we're going to do that. So ever fall for the primer paint and one asking for a friend. That's what I'm actually using right now. Um, no, the bathroom, what I'm using in the bathroom, it's Dutch, 
Dutch boys, um, kitchen and bath paint. So it's, it's supposed to have properties to it that, um, that, uh, resist like mold and stuff like that because it's a warmer, moister room. Um, and so I wanted to make sure that that was a thing because I have that up on the walls and everything in the ceiling, but the, um, so I don't know how that's going. The the bedrooms I'm using um, magnolia paints, jo Joanna Gaines paints, a uh, magnolia, um, and those have kills in them. Um, and so, and those are pretty thick paints actually. I still need to do two coats because um, going over the old stuff, there's still I still see streaks and different things like that. And um, you know I. No matter how good the paint is, it's like you still need to do two coats. <laughs> it's just like, you know, when you when you're cutting in along the the uh, the edges and everything like that with a paintbrush, you can see the streaky stuff. It's not a solid color, so so um, I think no matter how good the paint is, it's still going to do that. Um, the Benadryl is calling me for oh okay. For, for dogs? I didn't know that. You hate painting? <laughs> Dark baby color? Oh. <laughs> Take primer plus two coats of paint to cover it up. Yes. Yeah. I hear you. Oh, I'm sorry, Christy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Oh, she thinks she's a lap dog. Have you seen some of those videos that um, they're like baby elephants, you know, like at a, a zoo or a refuge or something like that, where <laughs> their handler, so they'll, you know, they'll be sitting on the ground and the, the little baby elephant will come over and just like want to snuggle in their lap. <laughs> like, it's like a 500 pound elephant. <laughs> so, oh, I just want to snuggle and just get in your lap. <laughs> just like oh or uh, you know I've seen other channels too where their dogs are just like huge you know it's just like these big things and just they think that they're little itty bitty pups and they just haven't figured that out yet <laughs> your friend was painting a pale gold color and it didn't get the job done okay <clears throat> yeah if it's and it, a lot of it depends on what it's going over. Um, if it's just, if it's going over white or something, probably just two coats of the color would be fine. If you're doing anything with reds, um, you need to put a primer coat down of gray, use a gray primer. Uh, there's something about red paint that um, you need to have that. The um, be, because otherwise you can put three or four coats on it and it's still going to be pink. So there's something that, that so if you use a gray primer for red, that'll do that. Now that pale gold, um, I would say if it's going over any other color, you need to put a white primer down first and then do the paint, even if it's a paint primer mix still um, and then do two coats of that. When it's fifty and sixty dollars a gallon, it's expensive to do that. I I know, I hear you. Um, very sleepy, you know, because you you grew up with Saint Bernard that tried to get under a couch with a fire. <laughs> oh, that's so funny! Oh my goodness, you find dog. Relaxing music helps her a lot. Okay, unfortunately, keeps you awake. You should have seen them this morning, Charlie. The one around 100 pounds was getting attention, so all three tried to get you laugh. <laughs> I hope uh, that it sounds like a good weight loss program, actually. <laughs> it's like, okay, I need to lose about 10 pounds. It's like, here you go, guys. Come on, a pile on mom. 
<laughs> I didn't need that arm anyway. Uh, take the left one. I'm right-handed, you know. It's <laughs> oh, goodness sakes. Wow. Wow. Okay. Have you ever written a poem? I did in school, you know, for, for English class and stuff like that, but that's, I'm not, <laughs> how many ducks can you lift at once? <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah, that would be quite a workout, wouldn't it? So in school. Okay. I know this is a really exciting question, but yeah. We're missing Dave tonight. And I don't know if Eli is being a shadow or not, but if you are, welcome. You did write a poem, this one. A poem. A poem. A client with a huge white German shepherd who was walking around with the coffee table. <laughs> Oh my goodness, Christy. <laughs> oh, that's funny. <laughs> Couldn't get that off of. <laughs> oh, the. <laughs> now that would be something. That would be Instagram worthy. Oh my goodness. That is great. That is awesome. Okay. So. In keeping with, now the snow is coming down really heavy again. <laughs> In keeping with the ambiance that I have from the outside, <clears throat> have you ever gotten buried in snow? <laughs> like buried, your physical person, buried in snow. Um, for those of you who've never lived where there is snow and you've never been around that, um, tell me if you've ever gotten buried in sand. You know, it's like, um, I think I did as kids when we'd be at the beach and stuff. It, of course, that would always be something that's like, oh, cover me up with sand. Let's, let's pile it on, you know. <clears throat> no snow for you. <laughs> yes, at the beach. Now, Michigan Daffodil, where you are, you'd have to clarify if it was sand or snow <laughs> at the beach. Um, at 14, you had to write and deliver a poem to the class. I just couldn't. So I read the lyrics to a pop song, These Eyes, and my ancient teacher scolded the kids for snickering at me. 100%. Aww. <sighs> so you just weren't able to write a poem. And so not that you had a problem delivering, you know, reading it out loud to the class, but you just... Um, so, <clears throat> oh, you didn't even do sand, Amy. Okay. Carrie, you've just lifted one, Charlie, after you didn't. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, that would be. You've been stuck in mud up to your knees. Okay. You're very. <laughs> Your face is buried in hair right now, too, Mac. <laughs> okay. Uh, you slid down a hill near Lake Tahoe. Woo. Also played in sand on the Pacific Coast. You have been around, Carrie. How fun. You wrote a book in eighth grade, Christy? Cool. What was that about? Roses are red, violets are blue. You, Kathy, are the sweetest YouTube friend, and we will miss you. Oh, thank you. We'll definitely keep in touch. The whole assignment gave me an ink. Oh, I get it. <clears throat> now, mud, that's a whole different story. <laughs> oh, Amy and Brett, a couple of mud bugs there, right? So, Brett, are you at, are you at work right now? If you two are on, on two different um, two different things, you've been getting attacked by a one-month-old goat kid while milking his. Oh, and yes, sand on the beach. Hmm, how fun! How fun! <clears throat> so, okay, 
We're going to your home city next day. Oh, okay. Each on your own devices. That is fun. Okay. So we did a little Sven and Oli. Where's Patty? Tinker's wife. I wonder what happened to her. Does anybody know how her knee is doing? Um, so we're missing Dave. We're missing Patty. Who else are we missing that's usually here? <clears throat> oh, you guys are so sweet. Thank you for being here. So Sven and Oli. I'm going to put for those new. That's how you spell it. Sven and Oli. Who are Sven and Oli? Sven and Oli jokes are popular in the upper Midwest, especially in Minnesota and other regions settled by Scandinavians. They are a couple of old farmers and they aren't too bright. They're all make-believe. If you are Swedish, Sven and Oli are Norwegian. And if you are Norwegian, well, then they are Swedish. Don't you know? <laughs> you can check their Wikipedia page for more about the cultural aspects of the jokes. So um, they're just jokes and I don't disparage anyone here of that heritage. So I love you all. <laughs> so Patty a Walker. Oh, okay. Oh, that's good. Kind of like Boudreaux and Thibodeau. <laughs> yes. Yes. A little shorter. <laughs> yes. Uh, <clears throat> Sven was out shopping in the mall when he met his friend Oli outside the jewelry store. Oli noticed that Sven had a small gift wrap box in his hand. What have you purchased, Sven? Oli asked. Well, now that you asked, replies Sven, it's Malina's birthday tomorrow. And when I asked her this morning what she wanted for her birthday, Lena said, oh, I don't know, dear. Just give me something with lots of diamonds. So what did you get her? Oli asks. <laughs> Sven smirks and says, I bought her a deck of cards. <laughs> You want to kind of slap them, you know. <laughs> uh, I love watching you guys laugh. That's so fun. That's so good. Howie, hello. How are you? How are you? Sven and Oli are up fixing the roof. Sven picks up a nail. Looks at it, throws it away. He picks up the next one, looks at it, hammers it into the roof. The next one, he hammers it into the roof. The next one, he throws it away. Oli says, Sven, why do you throw away half the nails? Sven says, Oli, don't you see? They have the point on the wrong end. Oli says, Sven, don't be such a dummy. Those are for the other side of the roof. <laughs> oh, they're so good. Thank you, Howie. Thank you very much. I'm so glad you were able to make it here. So um, <laughs> he's like, oh, grown, right? <laughs> hey, those are cute, Michigan Daffodil. Those are great. <clears throat> Oli hears that Sven just bought a new truck, so he goes over to take a look at it. When he gets there, he sees dents all over the truck. A new one. And Sven sitting in the driveway behind the truck. Oli says, Sven, why did you buy a truck with dents? Sven says, Oh, I made a real good deal. It got dented in the hailstorm, so the salesman gave me $50 off the price. And he said, all I have to do is blow on the tailpipe, and those dents will pop right out. But I've been sitting here blowing on this tailpipe for two hours now, and I don't think it's working. 
Oli says, Sven, don't be such a dummy. You have to close the windows first. <laughs> uh, Brett, I know. And there's a bunch of them out there on <clears throat> online that Sven and Oli, are, they're not very clean. So I have to be very careful what I get. So, um, Howie, so after five years of doing this, I've, um, it's, it's time. <laughs> I have so many other things that I have to do and have to tend to. And um, I will still pop in once in a while and do a live, um, just kind of a random one now and then. And I'm hoping to get back to doing a video once a month or so. And it's um, it was a season. And, and you guys were there at a very important time that I really needed to have um, this community. And, um, you know, you guys were there for me and all the losses in my family, both my parents, my brother, my sister-in-law, you know, so many things that were, um, that were really hard times. You guys were here for me and I really appreciate that. And, um, but I'm just moving into a different season and, um, that's, you know, that this is just one thing that I need to do. And I really prayed about it a lot and been thinking about it for a couple months. And it's like after five years of doing it, it's like it's time. So does that make sense? Your daughter dented her brother's car once. It came home and she had the toilet flush again. <laughs> I think they would make it work, right? Uh Oh no, Howie! No, 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 not that. I, not not sick at all. Nothing like that. It's just I've got so much on my plate that I need to um, take some things off of it, and um, the that's what this season is over. I mean, it, it's just coming to a close for this, and so um, yeah. Um. Your new grandson's name is Hans Hauskind. <laughs> that is true. I wonder if it came from uh, um, oh, what the the Elsa and Anna and Hans um, let it snow. <laughs> what is the frozen? There you go, frozen. Um, oh, Howie, thank you. I will miss you guys too. I really appreciate how you guys all come on and support me and, and you're here and uh, the friendships and the relationships I've had, um, you know, the people I've gotten to know, um, even though a lot of you I've never even talked to, but it's like, um, or never even seen, it's like, you still get to kind of know one another. So um, thank you, Christy. Thank you. Um Exactly, Amy. Yep. Yep. You've never seen that movie, Donna? <laughs> okay. It, it's funny. You know, when the song was so big, Let It Snow, um, or Let It Go, not Let It Snow. <laughs> it's snowing out here. That's why it's like, let it snow. Let it go. Um, I've seen like a room full of Marines singing that song, you know, and just doing all the motions. And it's like, it's so funny. He was really cute. Um, <laughs> okay. So this one's really pretty funny. Um, and I know you guys have heard this one before. And those from, of you from Minnesota will find it very funny. <laughs> so Oli and Sven die in a snowmobiling accident, drunker than skunks and go to hell. The devil observes that they are really enjoying themselves. He says to them, doesn't the heat and smoke bother you? Ole replies, well, you know, we're from northern Minnesota, the land of snow and ice, and we're just happy for a chance to warm up a little bit, you know? The devil decides that these two aren't miserable enough, and he turns up the heat even more. When he returns to the room, of the two from Minnesota, the devil finds them in light jackets and hats. 
grilling walleye and drinking beer. <laughs> the devil is astonished and exclaims, everyone down here is in misery and you two seem to be enjoying yourselves. Sven replies, well, you know, we don't get too much warm weather up here, dear, up here, dear, at the falls. <laughs> At the falls must be international falls at the falls so you've just got to have a fish fry when the weather's this nice <laughs> it's this nice the devil is absolutely furious he can hardly see straight finally he comes up with the answer the two guys love the heat because they've been cold all their lives <laughs> the devil decides to turn all the heat off in hell the next morning, the temperature is 60 below zero. Icicles are hanging everywhere and people are shivering so bad that they're unable to wail, moan, or gnash their teeth. The devil smiles and heads for the room with Oli and Sven. He gets there and finds them back in their parkas, bomber hats and mittens. They're jumping up and down, cheering, yelling, and screaming like madmen. The devil is dumbfounded. I don't understand. When I turn up the heat, you're happy. Now it's freezing cold and you're still happy. What is wrong with you two? They both look at the devil in surprise and say, Well, don't you know, if hell is froze over, that, mean, that must mean the Vikings won the Super Bowl. <laughs> so, Patty, there you are. Hello, hello, hello. Um, what are you tired of explaining? One guy was told computers do everything so his job wasn't needed. So apparently, yeah, they just. <laughs> right, Kiri. Yeah, I didn't even get on it until this tonight. So, ah, Kathy Comfrey. Oh, thank you. <clears throat> Kiri, I still have your information to send you some Comfrey too. So it's like, I hope to get to that this spring. <laughs> I'm sad and happy that you're going to other endeavors. You wish please come say hi. Oh, that would be sweet. Thank you. I will. I have never been up there. So, um, <laughs> uh, yes, yes, yes. We won the Super Bowl. We won the Super Bowl. So, okay. Have you ever? It's my last have you ever. Have you ever had a roach fly at you? So now I got some southerners here. So um I expect to hear some answers here. Fly at you, like you know, not just at your foot or something, but like at you, your face, your body, or something. Thank you, Joy. Yeah, I, I definitely need that. So it's been a lot. And uh, one of the the things that I, I recognize that, you know, and I accept that I have a lot of, um, I've been really blessed to have a number of um, gifts and talents and everything either through uh, music, through design, through um, just, you know, all kinds of things. And um in ways that other people haven't developed it really around here. And um, it's, and so people, you know, are clamoring to get me to do things for them. Oh, Kathy, you have to do this for us. You have to be here for us. You have to do this. You know, it's like I get pulled a thousand different directions. And that's where I really had to be careful, um, you know, and saying no and stuff like that. So, you know, no, 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 yeah, only ever seen a roach once. Palmetto bugs, other unpleasant bugs. You didn't know they flew? Yes, they fly. In the warehouse at Kroger, when I was a stalker, I invented some new. <laughs> oh, Brett, I bet you did. Oh, I know. Oh. <laughs> uh, a little bit patty, but it's thank you. Okay, my experience with a flying roach 
was that's so when I lived in Louisiana and in our bedroom we had a ceiling fan <clears throat> and there was this huge roach. I had to have been four inches long. It was huge. And I'm not just talking about like, <gasps> it's such a big roach type thing. No, this thing was, this sucker was big. And I was trying to like shoo it out of the bedroom. I think it was like on the dresser or something. I was trying to shoo it out. And, <laughs> and it went up onto the ceiling fan. And I was like, oh, how am I going to get it up there? And <laughs> so, <laughs> so I, I, I go and get the Raid Roach Spray first. <laughs> Don't ever do this. But I went and got the Raid Roach Spray. So um, <laughs> I turned on the ceiling fan to try to to get rid of the roach, to have him blow off. Well, he wasn't. <laughs> wasn't blow up and so I go to spray him with the fan going of course the spray all comes back at me well then <laughs> and I'm just like ah and so uh, somehow he decided to leave but he just flew right into my face right off the ceiling fan so you've got the the wind from the ceiling fan coming down it's just like right and it was just like ah. <laughs> it was so gross it was so terrible so oh um you know, it works sometimes too many boss is not enough for me. Oh, I hear you, Donna. Yeah. Like a B-52 bomber big. <laughs> yes. Yes, Patty. That big. Oh, you helped a neighbor last week with a goat in labor and kids and all wrong. Oh. <laughs> Didn't want his wife to hear it, right? No. Or he figured that his new words that he learned probably had more power than the other ones. I had a friend call me screaming and I could hear things going through. <laughs> I don't even know what a palmetto bug looks like. Oh my goodness. Oh, that's crazy. <clears throat> so, okay. That is the last one there. You were stung by a bee and injured your foot trying to get away. Amy panicked and went for the wasp. <laughs> oh, I know. I um, wasn't last summer. It was the summer before a, a wasp nest and I'd gotten the, the spray out too. And I was standing good 15 feet away, 10, 15 feet. And I shot it at the nest and all of a sudden one flew out and just just stung my hand, like, like right in here. Um, I mean, it was just there just in an instant. And so he was going from the, for the source of it. <laughs> it's like, thank goodness it wasn't my face or anything like that, but it's the flying roach. Yes. Both speak fluent English and Polish. You'd think cussing in language. No one else knows. <laughs> That's so true. Uh, that's so true. Um, so, um, <laughs> Lars, Sven, and Oli were asked, when you're in your casket and friends and neighbors are mourning you, what would you like them to say? Lars said, I would like them to say that I was a wonderful husband, a fine spiritual leader, and a good family man. Sven said, I would like them to say I was a wonderful teacher and a servant of God who made a huge difference in the lives of people. Ole said, I would like them to say, look, he's moving. <laughs> Put a rubber snake in the car. Oh, <laughs> Oh, you guys are coming up with better things than me. So, oh, Amy's chats are showing up for some reason. They, oh, they aren't. I didn't block her or anything. I don't think anybody did. I didn't see anything come up. I'm sorry, Amy. You'll have to say what you want on Brett's then. <clears throat> this is fun. Oh, good. Um. 
so then let me see. Oh, this is, this is, uh, I think, was this the one? Oh, yeah. This is a good one. A Minnesota farmer named Sven had a car accident. He was hit by a truck owned by the Ajax company. In court, the Ajax company's hotshot attorney questioned him thus. Didn't you say to the state trooper at the scene of the accident, I'm fine? Sven responded, well, I'll tell you what happened, dear. I used loaded my favorite cow, Bessie, into the... I didn't ask for any details, the lawyer interrupted. Just answer the question. Did you not say at the scene of the accident, I'm fine? Sven said, well, I just got Bessie into the trailer and I was driving down the road. The lawyer interrupted again and said, your honor, I am trying to establish the fact that at the scene of the accident, this man told the police on the scene that he was fine. Now, several weeks after the accident, he's trying to sue my client. I believe he is a fraud. Please tell him to simply answer the question. By this time, the judge was fairly interested in Sven's answer and said to the attorney, I'd like to hear what he has to say about his favorite cow, Bessie. <laughs> oh. So she, can you see me now? Oh, there we go. Yes, Amy, we've got you. So <clears throat> Sven said, thank you, and proceeded. Well, as I was saying, I just loaded Bessie, my favorite cow, into the trailer, and I was driving her down the road when this huge Ajax truck and trailer came thundering through a stop sign and hit me trailer right in the side, by golly. I was thrown into one ditch, and Bessie was thrown in the other ditch. By Yemeni, I was hurt pretty darn bad, and I didn't want to move. And even worse than that, I could hear old Bessie a moaning and a groaning. I knew she was in trouble, and but in, very, in terrible pain, just by her groans. Shortly after the accident, a policeman on a motorbike turned up. He could hear Bessie a moaning and a groaning too, so he went over to her. After he looked at her and saw her condition, he took out his gun and shot her right between the eyes. Then the policeman came across the road, gun still in hand, looked at me and said, how are you feeling? Now, what would you say? I would say, I'm fine, don't shoot me, <laughs> right? Oh, so, all right, guys. <laughs> that was it. That was the last one. <sighs> so, I know you wanted to do part of just cast, ask me anything, but that's okay. We had some good times. I know. Right, Patty? Oh, you guys are wonderful. Thank you for being here. Thank you for showing up. Thank you for your support. Thank you for five years of going live. And, you know, just putting out videos before that, I had no idea that going live would build such relationships and better community and stuff like that. So yeah, it went fast. It went fast. So um, I do hope to go on, you know, like I said, random times once in a while, we'll see how that goes, but I just really need to focus on some other things. So, oh, thank you. Thank you, Howie. Thank you. Thank you, uh, Brett and Amy for being here. Yep. When I can. So um Anyway, you guys, it's been wonderful, and I appreciate your support again, and all of my moderators, so you're going to miss Monday nights. Well, I'm opening it up here for somebody else to fill in, right? <laughs> Thank you, guys. So <clears throat> take care. God bless. Always have hope, and we'll see you whenever I see you. So take you, guys. Thank you, guys. Yeah, until we meet again. Oh, Chrissy, thank you.
Yep, Amy, exactly. Exactly, it's time. So, all right, guys, love y'all. Bye-bye.